don't go no contact with your narcissistic mother unless. In this video, I'm going to share the four essential things you need to prepare for or set in place to be able to survive the inevitable fallout that comes from going no contact. I'm Carol Rathel, Occupational Therapist, and this channel is about self-healing with self-love, because loving yourself is the most important thing to do. The pattern of behaviour of the narcissistic mother is to have some members of the family that she favours. These members are easy to use and she rewards them to keep them serving her in the way that she wants to be served. They don't realise they are being controlled and manipulated so the mother gets what she wants or if they are aware they are being used and controlled they may be too scared to say no or they may be too scared to express their point of view because of the instant shift into disapproval that the narcissist uses to punish someone who steps out of line. There are also those in the family who don't meet the expectations of the narcissist and these members are considered the outcasts, the troublemakers, the black sheep or the scapegoat. These family members know there is something very wrong about the family and they may go on an exploration to find out what that very wrong thing is about. They may learn about narcissistic personality disorders and begin to recognise the dynamic in their own family. Generally, life becomes hell for the outcast because they are excluded from family gatherings because the mother manipulates things so that they are not invited. They often lie to other family members that the troublemaker didn't want to come and be with them. And as all of you know who are watching this video, they lie extravagantly and make this person out to be a bully to the narcissist. Hands up anyone who relates to this. So I am speaking to you the black sheep, the troublemaker, and the first family member to see that there is a big problem in your family. Congratulations to be the first. As part of the healing journey that you will embark on, going no contact gives you the space to heal without having to interact with the abuser who is going to keep digging into that wound that they created. Once the narcissist mother knows you were onto her, her biggest fear is that you will be able to tell or show the other members of the family that she is being abusive and she will do everything in her power to drive you apart. One of the most common techniques they use to do this is to find your most vulnerable wound and jab a sharp blade into it and dig, dig and dig until you reach that point of imminent explosion. If that happens at a family gathering, she will have its success and point to you as being the bully. She has set you up. If you are not in the same physical space while she's winding you up, she may do the poking by phone or text. And this frustrates you. Then you reach the boiling point again, and if you text her in anger, she will show your text to the members of the family to prove that you are a problem and you're being mean to her. She will make herself appear as the weak victim. So, for this and so many other reasons, you choose to go no contact because it is the only way you can heal without that constant aggravation and wounding. Be prepared for the family fallout. The narcissist is going to work overtime to drive a wedge between you and your siblings and even your own children, whether they are young or grown up now. So don't go no contact unless 
Number one, you have at least one person you are close to who will stand by your side and support you no matter what. This is the friend or the partner that you can talk with about your deepest secrets and they love you unconditionally. You need the support of one person minimum. Number two, you must be prepared to lose the positive regard of your family. Number three, be prepared to be excluded from the narcissist's estate. Narcissistic mothers use their estates in the will to control the behaviour of the family and they make it known when they change their will and you get a lot less than previously promised. So be prepared to let go of any need for the estate. Make your own life. Create your own abundance. So be prepared to let it all go and do not be controlled by that. Just let it go. Number four, have a strong foundation of self-love and be your own source of strength and support. You have this already because you had to, to survive your upbringing. But when you go no contact and there is the family fallout, it is going to feel like your whole family hates you. It's not true, but it is exactly how it feels because your sensitivity button is way high and you may have complex post-traumatic stress disorder which can distort reality in a way that makes your fears seem far more powerful. We can talk about that in another video. So you need something that brings you back into your centre so you can remain safe within yourself. It could be music, art, gardening, playing with or loving a pet, something that soothes you and brings you deep enjoyment even when you don't feel like doing it. Just doing it will bring you back to yourself and bring you to your strength. What I came to realise is that there is a tremendous gift in the fallout within the family when you go no contact. Really, Carol, this all sounds awful. But yes, there is. For one thing, you get to have some space from the drama that comes from being in a dysfunctional family. So enjoy the time of peace to discover who you are when all that noise is gone. All you need to do is be you. Take time to learn to know you and to love you. Set boundaries with other family members if they come down on you. Boundaries come with the realisation that you demand from the world a certain level of respect and you learn to respect yourself, respect your needs and this is essential for healing and essential for self-love. So be strong. Stand up against any condemnation from a family member. You have a right to protect your mental health and your inner well-being. Understand that all the other members of the family are going through their own inner awakening to the truth because you open the door for them to seek their discovery. Let the family fall out and allow you to come home to yourself in your own self-healing and loving way. It takes great courage to go no contact with a narcissistic mother. You need your allies who will have your back when you don't feel strong. Make sure you are ready to lose your family for a while. It won't last long. Prepare yourself to have those things you love to do so you can stay anchored within yourself because there is going to be a lot of emotion coming up. All the things that you had to keep locked away while you had ongoing contact is going to come up now that it's safe to. So make sure you've got plenty of tissues to cry into and watch my videos on self-love and self-healing. Please subscribe if you're not already. 
hit the notification bell and share. And until the next video, I'm sending you love.